Hi, this is Russ McClay in Second Life, where I'm known as Infrared Wind. And to continue our adventures in Second Life, this is, I believe, Episode 6. We are here on Orientation Island, which is a, when you first sign up, this is where uh, uh, they recommend you go to learn how Second Life works. And so there are a number of stations on this uh, stone path. At this station, uh, there is a ball here, and I think the idea here is to demonstrate how you can um, physically move things and drag them around in Second Life. And um, if you let this thing, uh oh, <laughs> if we let this thing go, uh, Uh, and drop on the table. I think that's good. There. Okay. It says, but you've already completed the station. So the this particular station was just to use your mouse and the control key and whatever it is on a map. So this is great. Um, pretty great stuff. And it's far out that um, this has been here. This exact same orientation island, which we'll take a quick look up above. look down and I have my draw limit set pretty low but this is kind of what the island looks like um, from above so I'm going to draw back down and um, whoa <laughs> now the next station is of course the coolest one and I remember that when I first did this the orientation island it was really pretty cool. I think maybe I already knew how to fly, but still, this was, this was really um, a neat discovery that in Second Life you can fly around. So here we are. We're up here on this, uh, this ridge. And uh, we, the goal is, um, is to fly over this little chasm. And that click me down there is going to, let's see, we'll just do it. I think if we just click this, keep open, and it's going to say your objective, get to the graduation temple. So this is like, you know, Second Life isn't really a game, but actually this orientation island is definitely a game. So the game is to get oriented. So to fly in Second Life is very simple. You just hold down the page up, and you get air. As soon as you let go, you stop there. That's kind of the default behavior. You can change it. So I'm now I'm hitting page down and then stopping. And then up, down, and then now we're over the that chasm there. And I'm going to get over a piece here. And then we're going to page down and land. There. So pretty easy. I have to go back up again. And... Uh, Drop back down. Cool. So that's, um, you know, I've graduated now. That, uh, the previous episode um, shows, you know, the earlier stations. And uh, here we are. Now, the next thing to do here is they're encouraging, why not go off to... Um, help island now we could do that by pulling up the map and we could in here uh, if you look there to the right you can see maybe me typing uh, help island public which is one of the many hubs in Second Life um, and again in the map when you hold the mouse over um, a sim which is any of these squares on You'll get a, re you know, it'll show how many people are in there right now. So we'll go over there as a conclusion to this uh, episode, a shorter one. And bang, I'm just right in the middle of it, <coughs> which I didn't really want to do, but I did. And uh, yeah, that's good. See, there's going to be a lot of people here, so there's, there's lag and whatnot. That's all right. And I just want to kind of go off to the side here just for one minute to get an idea of, of that. And it's not just me flying around in here. There's uh, some other folks. This is Help Island Public. 
uh, in the states right now, it is um, in California, which is where Second Life is based. It is 5:39 in the morning, and here where I am, actually, it's uh, 9:39 in the evening. But there's always some people in here. Um, there have been seasons where not many, but right now, as of lately, uh, seems like there's always people in here. So we did the Orientation Island. This is Help uh, Island, and uh, that concludes Episode 6 with the Adventures in Second Life.